Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA in Microsoft Excel. Whenever we want to compare the means of two groups, we use the t-test independent. But if we want to compare two or more means of groups, then we can use one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA. That is why the null hypothesis in ANOVA states that there are no significant differences between means of two or more groups, while the alternative hypothesis states that at least one of the means is different from the others. So it could be mu sub 1 different from mu sub 2, or mu sub 1 is different from mu sub 4 or 5. The statistical test for ANOVA is called F-test, and here are the assumptions for comparing three or more means. First, the population should be selected from a normally distributed distribution, and the samples must be independent of one another, like in T-test independent. And of course, the variances of the populations must be equal. That is why we need to run the variance test on the data before performing an analysis of variance, like Levine's test. But in this case, we will consider all our examples have equal variances. Statistically, of course. Let's have an example. The number of grams of fiber per serving for a random sample of three different kinds of foods is listed. Is there sufficient evidence at a 0.05 level of significance to conclude that there is a difference in mean fiber content among breakfast cereals, fruits, and vegetables? In this example, we can see that we have three independent groups. We have samples for breakfast cereals, fruits, and vegetables. Six here uh, means that it has six grams of fiber per serving. Now, assuming we have the population that is normally distributed and the variances are statistically equal, we can perform the F-test or the analysis of variance using Microsoft Excel. The first thing that we need to do is to transfer our data in Microsoft Excel and our null hypothesis states that there are no statistically significant differences between the mean grams of these three groups while the alternative hypothesis says otherwise. To run the analysis, let's go to the data ribbon, go to data analysis, and we will choose ANOVA single factor. So one way ANOVA is also known as ANOVA single factor test. So by selecting this, we need to um, search our input or select our input range. In this case, we have these three columns. Since we have uh, grouped our data into columns, we will select columns. But if you have grouped your data into rows, you select this rows. I selected the labels in each column, so I need to select labels in first row. Now, for the alpha, we have 0 0.05 or 5. And in this case, I'm going to select my output range in this sheet. So I need to select a particular area where the summary table will be pasted. So let's select this range. Then select OK. Let's first round off our values to two decimal places. Oops. OK. Then here too. And here. In the first table, we can see here the descriptives for each group. The breakfast uh, cereals have an average of 5.33 grams and its variance is 5.5. We can see right away that the average for each of these groups are not similar. But is this statistically significant? Okay, let's read the ANOVA summary table. Here you can see the sum of squares column and the mean squares column. DF here stands for the degrees of freedom. F is for our statistical value, while F crit is for the critical value using the F test. And for the P value, we have 0 0.29. And using these three cells, we can now decide whether to reject or retain the null hypothesis. Since the F test is greater than the critical value and the P value is greater than the 
0.05 level of significance, then we need to retain the null hypothesis. So our decision is do not reject. The F test is less than critical and the p-value is greater than 0.05. And typically, when we report the analysis of variance, we use the standard deviation. So to get the standard deviation of these groups, you just need to get the square root of each variance. So the formula for square root in Excel is SQRT, open parenthesis, and square root of this. And we have these three standard deviations for each of this group. As a summary, we can see here from the descriptives table that the breakfast cereals had a mean of 5.33 while it has a standard deviation of 2.35. The fruit has an average of 3.51 and a standard deviation of 1.43. So SD here represents the standard deviation for each of the group. Now, the analysis of variance showed that the difference between the mean grams of fiber per serving of cereals, fruits, and vegetables was not statistically significant and we can report the values by using this default f stands for the f test two here represents the degrees of freedom for the between groups so i got two here from this cell while 21 came from the degrees of freedom of the within groups so 2 and 21 so we have 2 and 21 here the f test is 1.3 while the p value is 0 0.29 in other words we have difference in their means but this is not statistically significant in this example, the researcher is probably trying to determine the most effective diet for the athletes. So since we are comparing the three means in their gain, we can use the analysis of variance. For our example, our null hypothesis states that there are no statistically significant difference between the mean weight gains of the athletes, while alternative hypothesis says there is a statistically significant difference. By going back to data ribbon, data analysis, and choosing ANOVA single factor, we need to change our input range. And this time, I'm going to select diets A to B or A to C. Then columns was selected labels in first row and we have the same level of significance which is 0 0.05 for the output range i would like to change my output range somewhere here press ok and we have the summary table for our anova this time i rounded off the values to three decimal places and from this table we can see that diet p has a huge difference from the two means of 5n 4.5 but is this significant according to our ANOVA table the F test value is greater than the critical value and the P value is less than 0.05 so we need to reject the null hypothesis so meaning there is at least one difference between these two means so null hypothesis was rejected there is a statistically significant difference between the mean weight gains of athletes following one of the three special diets. But if you would ask me which is different from the other, I won't be able to answer you because for this situation, we need what we call post hoc analysis. Yes, you heard me right. Whenever the null hypothesis is rejected, rejected in analysis of variance, post hoc analysis is needed if you want to determine which particular groups have difference in their means. For instance, is diet A different from diet C? Is diet B different from diet C? All this will be discussed in the next video. And before I forget, let's compute for the standard deviation of each data using the formula square root of the variance here and we have these three standard deviations for each group here's the report and summary of our results so we can see here that the average weight gain of the athletes who took diet a is five pounds and so on the two degrees of freedom came from the between groups and 11 came from the within groups degrees of freedom 
the critical value is 7.74 and the p-value is 0.08 from this table and that's all for this video if you want more video discussion about hypothesis testing and how to perform them in microsoft excel please check my playlists in the description down below thank you for listening and see you in the next video